Hello all, I have a very, very exciting announcement to make. As you've guessed it, this announcement is the announcement for the launch of Creature 3D Alpha. Yes, Creature is now entering the world of 3D animation with Creature 3D Alpha. As you can see on screen, this is basically Creature, but packaged up into a full-blown 3D animation editor. So, of course, all the things we know and love in Creature, the procedural bone motors, which allow you to generate all kinds of procedural automated secondary motion, is available in Creature 3D. What you're seeing on screen right now is an example of what Creature 3D can do. This is an elephant that was rigged up from a basic mesh, and then, and then on top of it, we install Creature 3D procedural bone motors to have animated automated walk cycles, to have that flash really cool skin sliding motion to have all kinds of secondary motion on the trunk and all that. That's all done with the Creature 3D procedural animation engine. So this is the alpha launch and I want to emphasize the alpha launch is actually Creature 3D alpha provided to you guys for free. It's 100% free with all features unlocked and the alpha will be free for the entire duration of the alpha trial. Now Creature 3D has all the bone motors, again I, I mentioned, that, that we are familiar with from Creature. So this includes IK motors, IK rotate motors, move balance motors, rotate cycle, and bend physics and, and many more. So this allows you to basically generate automated walk cycles extremely easily. You can also do any kind of skin sliding, flash dynamic, secondary motion. You can also do tail wagging or any kind of chain effect with the physics motors. Also, this includes a full-blown key, keyframe and animation spline editor, so you can do easy timing or ease in, ease out operations in the Creature 3D animation editor. So these are very, very exciting times. Definitely check it out. I'm very excited myself. Now, Creature 3D also includes a very powerful built-in rig editor, so you can quickly and easily set up characters from either a plane mesh or you can also import directly from FBX or GLTF. If you're importing for FBX or GLTF, the character rig and mesh will be imported. It doesn't import the animation as of yet in this alpha. We might also include animation import in the future. But as of right now, you can import in an FBX or GLTF mesh or OBJ plane mesh with the rig if it's FBX or GLTF and then add the bones in, modify the bones, change the hierarchy. Also, after that, you can go in and either auto-weight it with Creature 3D's very powerful auto bone weighting feature, or just go in and manually paint it with a paintbrush. So all options are on the table. I hope you appreciate it. It's a very, very powerful setup. Now, once you're done with your animation, you want to export your animations into your favorite game engine of choice. Creature 3D allows you to export your animations either into, again, FBX or GLTF format. So in this case, we have the elephant animation from Creature 3D, rigged and animated and exported out into Unreal Engine. This is an FBX asset, you can see it running. And of course, you can easily export the same thing to Unity as well, or any of the game engines of your choice. So very, very powerful workflow, whole workflow end-to-end from basic mesh or and then rig into animation and into the game engine export is all built in with the Creature 3D Alpha editor. So hope you guys appreciate that and take advantage of it. So yes, please try out Creature 3D today if you want. I want to say it's a free alpha. It's for Windows X64. It gives you access to all features and it will expire of course when the alpha trial is over. But the alpha trial is expected to go on for a substantial duration. So I hope you're excited, I'm extremely excited, and these are very, um, very, very amazing times. I will obviously be publishing new tutorials on the usage of Creature 3 going through the various aspects of rigging, animation, motors, and export to game engines. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.